what is good friends welcome back this video is about sharing some tips tricks rules about how to enjoy or survive the conquest san francisco moscow it doesn't matter the theater of conquest is a special event where myself follow some some guidelines i because i'm extra careful on this map normally i don't really care because our service at peace we're not in conflict there's nothing to be afraid but in the theater of conquest you're facing potential for other enemies so you always have to be on your toes because i'm sure that the enemy is watching you and they're waiting for you to make a mistake and ambush you it's been uh, it, it 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 happened before and it will happen and that's what makes it fun in, in this map okay so without further ado let's start with the first trick or first mm, i call this a, a golden rule about the airlift so as you can see on five airlifts I already use one four out of five and to make them at good use i set myself a rule that i will only airlift when it's absolutely necessary when it's an urgent matter what's an uh, uh, what is an emergency for you that is on you for me an emergency means that time is against me so i have to hurry up and arrive to destination to either save a, a village that is about to burn out or somebody's in trouble and something is at stake i need to get there fast yes in that case i will i will use an airlift but once i'm done i have to I have to get out of there will i use an airlift again no i will just drive back i will do most of my um traveling uh by rolling by driving i rarely use an airlift especially on this map because you never know if one moment you have maybe to defend the fort and then half an hour later the enemy attack you on the the front so you have to travel back now you already waste two airlift two airlifts so you have to be careful you have to uh, make sure that you're not wasting them because once you're out it takes a fair amount of time to regenerate and always keep one in case of emergency okay so that's how i can be i can help my buddies without um the smart way if i should say okay and you may not have five airlift depending on your vip level so try to to pace yourself or use them smart okay so friends this is my first uh, trick for you the second trick is when you're not airlifting you are driving and the best way to drive long distance without having a bad surprise when you wake up or when you open the game back is to make sure that your troops are garrisoned in your base when your base deploy how do you do that too many times I've seen troops outside the base because he failed to do the proper way. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's say that you have to travel far and you don't want to stay in the game to watch your truck roll, which is pretty boring. I understand that. So I'm going to deploy my base right there. And I will pick each individual unit. I will place them around my base like that okay and I will leave this spot open you see the path my truck is using oh, I'm gonna use the pen here will make things easier to understand so I have my heavy my medium my BM one Howie two Howie so the the truck is gonna travel this way and I want to leave this space free so my truck can move. My, uh, it can follow this path without any interference. This way, I'm almost guaranteed that my base will deploy and all my troops will be safe inside.
do 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 so let's see if i did it right you see perfect nothing's outside so the enemy will not ambush me if i'm away from the game every time you place your troops like that you will succeed the only exception if let's say a raven troop or raven bunker will pop right there this is quite rare most of the time it will work all the time and guys this is easy to do it's only five extra steps you just place your unit correctly so you save a bunch of reserves right anybody can do that now friends third trick is how to airdrop i talk about this in my in an old video but i'm gonna repeat myself because this also is for everyone doesn't matter if you just start playing this game or you're a veteran like me people always miss their airdrop and sometimes the consequence can be heavy because let's say that you want to help your friends uh i need to find a good spot okay i i have one so let's say that you want to drop right there so you're gonna press the airlift command apply and then you will airlift away right no don't you ever do this always check your spot before dropping it doesn't cost anything and it will save you your base your troop and your airlift okay how do you spot how do you spot check easy come back to your base click relocate right there okay oh before doing this make sure you're not in a claim land belonging to the enemy because once you do this you cannot uh, deploy your base again right You come back to your desired spot and you can clearly see, unless you're blind, that there's absolutely no chance this base will fit. There's too many obstacles, the landscape kind of sucks, and there's a nice raven bunker on top of something that, I don't know what it is, but regardless, this base will not fit. So, you know that you just saved... a. a an airlift by doing so and if you want to airdrop let's say to another spot and you already have uh, already did the the check now you know that this base will fit all you have to do is well there's two way all you the, the first way is to center your your screen like this Make sure that this is center and when you airlift it should work oh i can't because this is uh, unclaimed land bad example let's pick another spot so let's say that you you want to airlift you do your spot check like this right you center it and you press command and it should succeed if not then keep in mind that your base your patch right there when you want to deploy your base it will expand two square from each side so you if you you're unsure you want to triple check you do this one two and you click airlift and it will fit perfectly right next to this guy okay it takes two square per um, per side when you deploy so keep in mind that this will not work because don't have enough space this will work one one two like this perfectly okay i'm not gonna airdrop for nothing but you get the idea the last tip i want to share with you guys is oh it's more like a pet peeve but please try to understand me so i still don't understand why people leave 
troops outside their base, especially in this kind of map where everybody is watching you. Now, if I see my guys, at least my guys listen and they, they're being careful. They're not, ah, I see something here. So you see, this guy, I'm surprised that those fighters are still alive. Because if I would be the enemy, I would take those out instantly. Okay, it's very tempting, it's an easy target, and uh, it, it's annoying. I enjoy it, sniping other people's troop, but when it happened to me, it's really annoying. It doesn't happen, happen to me anymore, thank God, because I have discipline. But those guys, they know they are safe because it, they are inside their safe zone. But it's really a bad habit to leave those troops, because if you leave, leave those troops there, you will make the same mistake again, and this time you won't be in the safe zone, okay? So there's no reason to leave troops outside, garrison them back, or worse, if it's an army group, a sleeping army group, this is really a, a common mistake that could be easily avoided. So guys, that's all I want to share with you, and the beauty about this is it's for everyone. You don't have to be a power player. Even the novice can follow those rules, those tips, those tricks to become a better player. By following those guidelines, you will enjoy, you will last longer in this conquest map. You will enjoy it better. There's no reason not to. Sometimes you develop bad habit, but now it's time to rethink and relearn and uh, play a cleaner game. Don't give anything to the enemy. Guys, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoy and learn something about this video. If not, then stay tuned. More content will come soon. And speaking of more content, did you see what I saw? Never yes. The, the exclusive was. lounge will uh, open tomorrow and I will probably awaken this guy if I'm lucky. Who knows? Stay tuned, guys. Be safe and have a good evening.